So I just came back from a family vacation to Miami, our home away from home, and I went crazy when it came to the shopping. I usually don't do this and I usually never make these kinds of videos because I don't really like showing off the things that I'm buying or whatever because I'm buying these things for myself, but I've been wearing and using a lot of these things throughout my vacation and I've been posting about it on my Instagram. If you're not following me over on Instagram, I highly recommend you do. I'll leave all the info here because I post a lot of things on Instagram that I don't post on YouTube. So I posted some photos and videos of me wearing and using these things and I got so many DMs from you guys asking me where this and that are from. So I figured that I'd curate all of these pieces into one video and do kind of like an unboxing and share with you guys what I bought when I was in Miami and the things that I'm most excited about. And everything of course will be linked in my description box down below so it's going to be easier for you guys to find everything right in one place. And if there's something I missed, don't hesitate to let me know in the comments or DM me on Instagram and I will be sure to hunt down the links for you as well. So let's hop right in because I have so many things that I'm beyond excited to share with you guys and that I've been wearing non-stop. The first thing I wanted to mention were these puckery necklaces. The amount of DMs I received about these necklaces is unreal. This is probably one of the most requested pieces by far that I was asked to link on my story. So I have two necklaces stacked together, an A and an L for my kids' initials. And I love that these are adjustable so you can wear one higher and one lower so you can see both initials if you decide to wear more than one stacked together. They're just so beautiful and different. And I love the little mini pearl detail on the inside of the raw gold edge. It's just so so cool and I love these so much. These are my new favorite necklaces that I have been wearing every single day on repeat. So I will link these down below. The next item I am so excited about and was looking for everywhere because these are super hard to find and are in very high demand. So I was really excited when I was able to find them in Miami. So you can probably tell by the packaging that this is a pair of Celine sunglasses. Celine and Saint Laurent make my favorite sunglasses out of all the brands probably. I probably own the most Celine and Saint Laurent in my collection. So these are a pair of black on black oval shaped sunglasses with a dainty Celine logo on the sides. I love these so much. I think they're just so classic and timeless and definitely something that I will be able to wear year after year after year and they will never go out of style. I love these so much and they literally go with anything and everything. They also have a tortoise version of this frame. I decided to go for the black but I think I might need the tortoise variation in my wardrobe because because these were very loved and very worn on vacation. The next thing I got was obviously from Bottega Veneta, as you can see by the bag, and this is something that I really needed. So this is a leather good. I don't know if you can tell by the box that it's something pretty small, but definitely something very necessary, and it comes in this little pouch. So this is a little card holder. So I needed something really small and slim like this to go inside of my smaller hand bags. The one that I usually have for day to day is more of like a zippy card wallet, which is still pretty small, but when I'm wearing like my Chanel medium flaps or my small Chanel Coco handle bag, it takes up a lot of space. And when I'm out and about with my kids, I just don't have any space for anything else. So I needed something small and thin like this that's very compact and easy just to take. I rarely carry any cash with me anyways, so this size is just perfect for all of my needs. This is the famous Intricchiato Weave by Bottega Veneta and this particular color that I have is called porridge and I love it because it's like this beautiful neutral oatmeal color that goes with everything and it's just so beautiful and I've been using this non-stop I literally just took out my cards and put it back in the box for the purpose of this video just to like show you guys but I'm going to immediately put all of my cards back in here as soon as I'm done filming this video and start using it again the next item I got was from Hermes, as you can clearly see by the box. And this was another item that I had my eye on for a while and kind of really needed because I don't have something like this in my collection. 
So I wanted a skinnier belt that I can wear with my high-waisted trousers and jeans and I needed something in like a lighter color for summer. So I went with this one. This is called the Pop H or H Pop belt. So as you can see, it has like a little 3D H on the belt. And I decided to go with the Palladium hardware just because I feel it's more of a casual belt. And usually the way that I would wear this belt is with more casual wear, denim, trousers. So that's why I thought that the Palladium would just suit my needs much better. It has the gold leather on the back and the nata on the front. I thought it was double-sided, but apparently it is not, which really sucks because they're classic belts they are double-sided so you can essentially remove the buckle and flip it onto the other side and then you kind of have two belts in one this one does not have that option unfortunately so that was a little bit of a bummer but I do intend on wearing the not side most of the time and I already have another belt that has the gold option if I wanted to use that one so the next item I picked up is this stunning blazer that I actually saw on Instagram and I thought that this was something that I definitely needed in my wardrobe because it can be worn multiple different ways as if I needed any more blazers in my life but this one I felt like I didn't have anything like this first of all I don't have anything in this exact tone of beige you guys are gonna think I'm crazy because I have probably have like five different beige blazers but I'm telling you guys every Every beige has a purpose and this one definitely will serve a different purpose in my wardrobe first of all it's more of a warmer beige blazer which is something that I needed in my wardrobe living in Toronto I even wore this in Miami I just didn't wear anything on the bottom just so that I wouldn't be too hot but you can wear this on its own as a blazer dress I'm almost 5 foot 10 so I would say that I'm at like the max height to wear this blazer as a blazer dress but if you're shorter than me then you can totally pull it off a lot easier you can also style this with matching color trousers they do have the matching trousers on the website I just didn't feel like the need for those trousers I decided just to go for the blazer you can also style this with a t-shirt and jeans with black leather trousers with flowy trousers there's like a million different ways you can style this I love that the shoulders are padded it's a wool blend so it is more appropriate for like colder weather but the, my favorite thing about this blazer is that there are different notches settings over here so you can make it more oversized you can make it more cinched in in the waist you can make it more asymmetrical and it just looks so cool I'll insert pictures here from their website so you can check it out the brand is called source unknown I personally never heard of it until I actually saw someone wearing it on Instagram and that's what kind of made me look into it and I'm so glad that I did because the quality is very nice and it's a lot more affordable to some more expensive options that I have seen online so so if you are in the need for a really beautiful, classic, timeless beige blazer, I highly recommend checking this one out. All right, so for this next item or items, I left the box in Miami because it was just too clunky to take back with me. You can probably guess what it is just by the dust bags. This is a pair of shoes and guys, I kid you not, these are the most comfortable sandals that I own and I wore these so much in Miami. They're literally like socks. They're so comfortable, so cool to dress up, dress down. I've worn these with long jeans. I've worn these with shorts, with literally everything. These are from Dior. I like that the logo is also very subtle. It's like not too prominent and they're so versatile and go with anything and everything. I was debating between between the black and the camel. They do have a camel color in this style, which I think is also equally as beautiful. But I think that the black is just more versatile and more transitional in the spring and fall months. I cannot love these more. I know they're not for everyone. Some of you guys are gonna think they look like Birkenstocks or orthopedic sandals. That's what my mom said. But honestly, for me as a mom of two now, running around after my kids and having something cute and stylish and also super comfortable on my 
my feet is like a non-negotiable. So if you were eyeing these, I would 100% recommend pulling the trigger because in my opinion, they are so worth it and I want them in every color now. Okay, last but not least is this beauty. I was looking for this bag for a long time and unfortunately in stores, in the boutiques, it's either sold out or unavailable and I couldn't find the exact color that I wanted. I did mention this in a previous video of mine and I said that if I would find this, I would replace it with my Chanel Maxi Flap, which is exactly what I did. And I am so beyond excited for this to share this with you because I know that this bag will be so, so loved. Ta -da! You guys, this is not for everyone. I know that it is a big bag, but I loved and used my vintage Chanel Maxi flap to death. And I thought that having like an updated version of the XXL would serve me so well. I love the oversized classic Chanel flaps. And I personally love the more deconstructed style that's not as like stiff. It just looks a lot more cool and laid back and edgy and it's more of a casual bag and I love the brushed gunmetal hardware on this. It makes it so much more wearable because I do mix metals. I do wear a lot of gold and I do wear a lot of silver. So this is kind of right in the middle and it just mixes well with everything. Whereas my old vintage maxi flap, it had silver hardware. So it was a little bit harder to mix metals with. This is technically a travel bag, but I intend on using this as like an everyday bag slash mom bag slash diaper bag. It has a massive pocket in the back. This particular one is more rare because it has the chevron quilting on it. I usually see the XXLs in the diamond quilting and most importantly it's in the black color which is exactly what I wanted. It's a lot harder to find in black but I was able to find this beauty on Fashion File and it's an excellent condition. Fashion File actually has a lot of options for the XXL flaps so I'm definitely going to link that below because they probably have the best selection that I've seen online and their prices are very reasonable considering how much they go for retail right now. And you guys, look how pristine the inside is. Look how much storage space there is, how much space in general there is. There are built-in dividers, there are built-in pockets, there are built-in zipper compartments. It's just like everything that I would want in an everyday bag and more. So I cannot wait to start wearing this and to start using it because this is like my mom bag of dreams and it's just perfection and I'm just so excited and in love with this bag. Okay guys, so that wraps up my massive Miami haul. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Again, everything that I mentioned in this video, I will link in my description box down below. Let me know if you enjoyed seeing this kind of video, if you want me to make more videos like this because I always feel very apprehensive about making them. I don't ever want to come off as like I'm showing off or whatever. Just these things I'm so excited and passionate about. The only reason why I felt like I needed to film this video is A, I was getting so many DMs from you guys asking me where I got these items from or like the items that I showed on my Instagram. And also these items I'm just so excited to start using and I just thought that this video would be helpful. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments below. As always, I'm I want to thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me and I'll see you in my next one.